Tariq, when we met 14 years ago, I was immediately drawn to you. Your voice, your presence, your stature, that beautiful face all drew me in. Now, don't get me wrong, I thought you were bossy and then yielding when it came to student bedtimes at Geneseo summer camp. But even then, I would watch you from afar as you played basketball and shot your ball over the summer. I would feel this unexplicable excitement whenever I saw you around campus. And I believe there's even photographic evidence of a few of those moments. I never shared these feelings with you. It wasn't our time. Many years later, we found ourselves in the same city with a handful of friends in common from college. And I jokingly share that someday I was going to marry you. And here we are. My beautiful baby, you and I are here to start an amazing married life together. There's not a single person in the world that I would rather be looking into the eyes of today or any day. I cannot wait to be your husband. Tomorrow will be our first full day of marriage, our first full day of forever love, and our first full day of the rest of our lives together. Being with you for the past seven plus years has helped me groom me into a man I am very proud of. You push me to reach full potential in all my endeavors, and I'm sure you will continue to push me into being an amazing husband and a future father. To my surprise, one summer day, while living my best life at Disney, I received a text from you that said, I met you, and I swear to you, my heart skipped a beat. I couldn't stop grinning. So many thoughts ran through my head. How could I have Tarek's number saved in my phone and not know? What could he possibly be mad at me about? And is he still as beautiful as I remember? And how can I find out? Long story short, you asked me out on a date and I agreed within seconds. That was almost seven or eight years ago, and there's never been a single day that we haven't spoken. I thank God daily for reuniting us at the right time, in the right mind, and when we were both ready for one another. My love for you is just like the ocean, clear and endless, full of life and as graceful as a tide. A hard and cala de qui lo vive is I love you in the Maldivian language. I have learned that no language can express the fullness of these four words. You are the most genuine person I know. You're silly, you're honest, incredibly thoughtful, and the most amazing son, friend, and father to our baby. You give your all to your community and to those around you. You are intentional in your generosity and truly bring out the best in everyone. I've never met someone who is as dedicated to living a full, joyous and adventurous life as you. You make the best out of every opportunity and I will forever love you for making my life so special. From me to you each day of our lives, these words will express the love I have. Not just for you as a person, but the love I have for your eyes, your hands, your smile, your voice, and your beauty. My vow to love you goes beyond you as a person. It encompasses each and every trait that you possess. Being here today has made me feel like we are the only two people on earth. I will continue to make you feel like the only woman on earth and give you all that I can give you, give each and every day. I want to thank you. Thank you for holding me when I don't know I need to be held, for carrying me back to health when I'm unable, for making me laugh until I cry when nothing can put a smile on my face. And thank you for supporting my dreams and believing in me. Thank you for loving me, for seeing every aspect inside of me and accepting me for who I am. I've never felt more myself, more at peace and more loved by anyone. And thank you for loving my family and friends as if they were your own. You have made me a better man. I owe you all of me. You inspire me each and every day. Here I stand, a grown man, certain that I have made the best decision of my life to have you as my bride. My vows to you to be the best that I can be and provide for you through it all. Through all the ups, the downs, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer. I give you this ring as a reminder that I will love, honor, and cherish you in all times, in all places, and in all ways, forever. I promise to share my leftovers with you, to never watch an episode of Love Island or Ozark without you, to root for your Knicks unless they're going against the Lakers, you're on your own there. I promise to be your travel buddy for life and explore the world together. I promise to be your best friend and face any obstacle by your side. 
I promise to fight fair whenever we're at odds and to accept you as you change and grow over the years. I promise to love you unconditionally, to hold your heart with care and to be your partner in life. I promise to be your place of comfort and relief when you've had a long day, to listen when something is weighing heavily on you, and to be by your side every day of my life. Tarek, I can't wait to embark on this journey with you. I think I've loved you from the moment I walked into your apartment for our first date, and I know I'll love you for the rest of my days. I don't want to kiss you, yeah, I just want to